वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रेग्रेशन एनालिसिस यूजिंग आर बट व्हेन वी हैव द कैटेगोरिकल प्रेडिक्टर्स और वी कैन से द कैटेगोरिकल इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स सो इन ऑर्डर टू डील विद द कैटेगोरिकल इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स वी कैन टेक द हेल्प ऑफ द डमी वेरिएबल्स व्हाट द डमी वेरिएबल मीन इज वी आर गोइंग टू कोड दैट कैटेगोरिकल वेरिएबल ओके so coding means like if for example if we have the two level category of a variable such as male or female on or off yes or no okay a defective non defective then we can code that that particular variable as zero or one okay as a dummy variable for example uh, another example we are considering over here is if we have a dependent variable is a teacher salary which we are representing with y okay and the dummy variable which basically is indicating whether we want to see that on average the smoker teacher has a more salary or a non smoker teacher has a more salary okay so we have represented a non smoker with one okay we have coded it and the smoker is with respect to zero so graphically if we are going to represent this one so right now if this is zero so which means this is alpha which is basically representing the salary of the smoker person okay that is the average salary of a smoker person so this alpha is going to be represent whereas if this is equal to 1 then alpha plus beta is going to represent the average salary of a non smoker teacher so as we can see that from this particular graph so that the or, uh, on this particular scenario the non smoker teacher has the higher salary on average whereas if we have such a variable such a categorical variable in which we have more than two levels then how many number of dummy variables we needed that is going to be the number of levels minus 1 so we will discuss later but let first discuss that if we have a categorical independent variable and it has two level how we are going to deal in r and then uh, how we can interpret those results okay so for that uh, let me open the r okay so that is the regression analysis so i am going to use the built in data set okay so first of all for that i need to call a library called car data so if you haven't installed it so first you need to install then i am going to call it okay so in this car data set we have a data set called as salaries okay so now i am going to with the help of this view command i am going to see the data set in the uh, salary okay so where we have the ranks of the professors so uh, from which discipline they have related with whether the discipline a or b okay and then a uh, year since they have got the phd service okay that is basically the experience their gender their salary and so on okay now uh, we are going to uh, with the help of this command as you can know that with the help of head command we can see the first six uh, data sets okay so if i write down comma 8 so you with the help of this particular command you can see the first eight uh, data entries okay uh, by the way first of all uh, because we are interested to find out that uh, is the gender or we can say sex has the effect on the dependent variable which is basically the salary whether male having the more salary or whether female having the more salary so for that i am going to fit the uh, multiple um, uh, simple linear regression model okay but our independent variable is because it has the categorical variable so we have to first code this uh, dummy variable so in with the help of r how we can do that we can use the function called contrast okay and then salary that is the name of the uh, data set or you can say the name of the variable in which we have the entire data set that is salaries dollar sex if i run this one okay so you can see that r automatically coded that variable okay where zero is representing female and one is representing male now in order to fit the simple linear regression model so the function will remain same which we have discussed while we were talking about the simple linear regression model using r 
so for that the function is lm which is a linear model this is a dependent variable this is our independent variable and data is equal to the name of the variable in which we have the data set so if i run this command and then in order to check the result we have to use a function called summary okay and then the name of the variable in which we have the fitted model so as you can see that that this is basically the average salary the female um, professors are getting whereas female teachers are getting this is uh, the how much salary the male is getting more than the female so we can say that these are the significant results because the p values are less than uh, um, uh, almost equal to zero you can say less than one person so these are the highly significant results that on average male teachers are getting more salary so let me show you uh, through ppt as well like the average salary of the female is equal to this one so the average salary of male would be alpha plus beta as we have discussed in our previous slide that is basically this non-smoker perspective so that would be this estimate plus this one so that would be the average salary of male and we can easily say that because are showing us that these are the significant uh, effects so the male is getting significantly higher salary compared to the female okay now let's discuss if we have uh, more than uh, we have a dummy variable uh, which has more than uh, you can say two levels okay so for that i'm going to use uh, basically the rank in which we have the three levels one is assistant professor associate and professor so if a particular variable has more than two levels so in order to check who how r has coded that variable and converted that variable into the dummy variable so uh, as you can see that because in a rank variable we have the three categories one is professor assistant professor and associate professor so that means r is going to be generated to dummy variables okay so remember that as i have shown you that how many number of dummy variables we needed that is basically the number of levels minus one because in this particular case we have three levels assistant professor associate and professor so r is going to be generated two dummy variables so how we can check that one that how r has coded that variable uh, as a dummy variable so for that we can use the function model dot matrix and then uh, started tilde and the name of the variable okay which is basically the categorical variable that is a rank then data is equal to salary so if i run this command and with the help of head we can see you have to ignore this first uh, uh, column uh, so they are ranking um, rank associate professor and rank professor so basically so r what it has uh, done is that it convert this variable into the two variable that rank of the associate professor so uh, in this particular data set wherever um, r has found the associate professor they mention one as you can see that at the sixth place it's associate professor so this is one so wherever r didn't find the associate professor so it ranks as zero similarly for the professor it ranks one wherever there is not not a professor that would be zero okay so the third one is the uh, assistant professor so that is basically would be considered as zero okay so how we are going to interpret that one so uh, i will discuss in a while but with the help of this command if i am using this minus one so it will remove this first column so uh, it will not showing us the intercept only showing us the rank of associate professor as well as a professor then uh, what i am going to do is uh, i am going to fit the multiple linear regression model in which one of the variable is that is year service which is experience that is the quantitative variable okay that is basically this variable whereas rank is basically a dummy variable okay and we have seen that how r has uh, you can say converted into the dummy variable okay and similarly the discipline is also a categorical variable sex is also a categorical variable so r will automatically convert uh, the categorical variable into the dummy variable okay 
and in order to check uh, how r has uh, uh, converted the dummy uh, into the dummy variable so we have seen uh, with the help of this function and if it has only two category so with the help of this function but now i am going to apply the multiple linear regression model using r where dependent variable is salary so now with the help of this model too so we have fitted the multiple linear regression model now i am going to show the two uh, things okay with the help of anova you can see the result with the help of summary you can see the result the difference is if i run the anova it is not showing me uh, the coefficients of the particular now you can see the showing me the values of beta naught beta one it is also telling me that whether particular factor whether the particular particular independent variable is significantly affecting the dependent variable so right now it is showing us that rank is a significant factor okay that is affecting uh, the salary similarly discipline is also a significant factor so which means we can easily say that uh, the professor may have the more salary compared to the associate professor similarly the associate professor may have the higher salary compared to assistant professor but we have to check with which uh, rank of the professor getting higher salary or which one is the lower salary similarly uh, some discipline uh, professors getting more salary compared to the other so how we can check that that is with the help of this summary command now we can see that uh, so basically the rank of associate professor getting more salary compared to the assistant professor okay okay similarly this is basically indicating so that is basically the assistant professor is a control uh, you can say the variable or the control factor uh, you can say similarly the rank professor the full professor is getting uh, more salary compared to the assistant professor how much that is basically this one and this is the significant factor which is the rank of the associate uh, the rank of full professor is also a, a significant uh, factor or you can say getting the more salary compared to the assistant professor whereas the discipline b is also a significant factor because the p value is less than one person even okay five percent as well as one person so which means discipline b professors are getting more salary compared to discipline a how much that is this one okay whereas we can see that the gender is not a significant factor okay uh, similarly the year of experience is also not a significant factor okay so let me show you once again so these are basically the outputs as we have seen earlier so we have seen that only the rank and the discipline categories are the significant factors with the help of this anova command and with the help of this summary command we can see that the associate professor how much salary they are getting higher than the assistant professor we also have seen that that the professor rank uh, is getting higher salary compared to the assistant professor how much that is this one similarly the discipline b's professor are getting more salary compared to discipline a's professor how much that is this one so i hope you got the idea that how we can perform the simple linear regression as well as multiple linear regression when we have the categorical predictors and how we can interpret uh, the results so thank you so much see you in the next video